The number four. Hello. My name is Dale and I am obsessed with the number four. Ever since I can remember everything I did, I had to do four times. I, I just had to. I remember going to the bathroom as a little kid. I flushed the toilet four times. I washed my hands four times and then dried them four times. I'd always heard people talk about the lucky number three, but three wasn't the real lucky number. I mean, four was. It, it had to be. One day, I woke up at 4 a.m., I opened my eyes four times and I kept them open until I reached the bedroom door. I then blinked four times and kept my eyes closed on the fourth blink. In the dark, I guided my way to the bathroom and I brushed my teeth, took a bath and right before I turned off the water, I opened my eyes again. I turned the water off and on four times and then continued my daily routine. Once I got downstairs, I poured some coffee into my mug and took four long sips before I got ready to work. I left the house without locking the main door. I never lock the main door. I simply just can't. I then sat down in my car at precisely 8 a.m. because 8 divided into 2 is, well, 4. As I put my hands on the wheel, I noticed it for the first time. Why isn't there 4? I tried to shake the anxiety by driving a bit faster than usual, but it didn't work. It had been a long day and the weather was starting to get cold when I finally left work at 4 p.m. I got into my car, I turned on the radio and put my hands on the wheel, but then I noticed it again. Why isn't there four? My hands started to shake. Why isn't there four? I quickly put the car into fourth gear and drove home as fast as I could. I walked up the four steps to the main door, I locked and unlocked the door, then locked and unlocked the door again. This continued for a while. You see, I had to get this right. My clothes were soaking in sweat when I finally got into the house. I threw my sweaty clothes in the washing machine and tumbled into the shower. I turned the cold water on and off four times and sat down before I almost passed out. I left the shower about four hours later. I, I was exhausted. So I made four eggs for dinner and I went to bed at 8.44 p.m. I woke up at 4 a.m. the next day. I opened my eyes four times and closed them four times when I left the bedroom. I then went to the bathroom as usual. I brushed my teeth, took a shower, but when I got downstairs and reached for my daily cup of coffee, I looked down at my hand and saw it again. It was as if my stomach turned itself inside out. There was five fingers on my hand and not four. It didn't hurt that much at first when I cut through the skin of my right little finger, but as the kitchen knife broke through the bone, I, I started to scream. My finger was now hanging from my hand in one single nerve string. I grabbed the dismembered finger in my left hand and pulled the nerve out through the side of my hand. Warm fluid was gushing out of the place where my little finger had once been. I quickly grabbed the knife with my right hand and forced it through the skin and the bone of my left little finger. The pain was excruciating. As I opened the medicine cabinet in the bathroom, my body collapsed from the pain, but as I was laying there on the bathroom floor in a pile of sticky blood from my fingers, I I smiled. I, I felt happiness. The next day, my morning routine continued as usual, but when I got out of the shower, I accidentally looked down on my feet and I saw five toes and not four. Back to the kitchen knife.